Hi, this is Nicholas, and I'm going to be showing you some Blockly-based work that I've been doing uh, over the last week or so during my uh, commutes into and out of work into London. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is the browser-based editor that we've written, and if you notice, we've added a Blockly button. When you click it, uh, a Blockly um, pane appears on the left-hand side, and as you move blocks around from uh, Blockly, the code on the right-hand side will automatically update. So, for example, I might want to scroll a message, so I move the block for scrolling a message onto the screen, and the other thing that I need to do is give it some text to display, so I can um, move uh, the, the text block in, and I can start to type uh, the text that I would like to have displayed. Notice how that it's importing the correct things as well using uh, the Python import statement. And uh, it does this automatically as well. So if I drag a music block on um, and start changing things around, um, it automatically updates, imports the right sorts of things and everything. And it works just like uh, you um, would normally expect of the uh, of the Python editor. Now that I've got my script, I can download it or save it and so on and so forth. Um, so that's what it looks like in the browser. But importantly, um, I've also made it work uh, with Mew. So here's, here's Mew. Uh, looks just like normal Mew, um, but notice there's a blocks uh, button at the top. So I'm going to create a new file here, use blocks. And again, here we have uh, Blockly on the left and code on the right. And just as before, display dot scroll message um, as I update things in the left hand side on the right hand side uh, things uh, appear in code automatically and what's more um, once I get rid of my blocks there we go it's updated get rid of the blocks um, I can still do things like check and uh, flash the device um, with this new amazing code uh, the important thing is that um, as we work with blocks um, uh, more blocks will become available for different sorts of Python projects. And hopefully, uh, we will be building a bridge that allows users who are used to perhaps programming in Scratch and moving a little pussycat around the screen, as you do in Scratch, um, it, you'll be able to use the knowledge of, of composing blocks and assembling them in a particular way to make things happen. You'll be able to do this in Mew and in the browser-based editor and see how that works uh, in the Python text-based coding um, land, as it were. And then eventually, once you realize that you can be more expressive uh, using Python in a text-based programming language, uh, you'll move gradually into using just text-based programming. I've also made sure that not everything that you can do with a micro bit is, uh, is available in blocks. Some of the really cool, more complicated um, features uh, to do with the micro bit, um, you can only access using Python. But that's it in a nutshell. Uh, it was quite easy to do. Uh, well done to the Blockly developers. Uh, it, was a, it was a real pleasure uh, to work with this code. Um, and uh, funnily enough, uh, the way we've written our code means that it's very easy for us to integrate all this together. That's it.